What's up, guys? It's Mitch with SC Weather. Hope y'all having a great day, week. Uh, it's been been a uh, very cloudy one and just a rainy one for a lot of people. Got some storms around out there. Other than that, not a whole lot to talk about. The weather is getting a little bit boring. Um, and for people like me who love the weather, the, that always kind of sucks. But it's a good thing for a lot of people because, um, you know, no, no, nothing crazy is happening. But it's a slow period for me, so I just ask for the support. If you're watching the video hadn't subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you click the link and subscribe. Um, it's just a way to, to definitely support me, and I'd appreciate it definitely. Um, but as far as the storm covers at night, I still think we're going to have some isolated and scattered storms uh, throughout the evening. And the NAM uh, definitely shows it even in as we get into midnight. We still have some storm showers out there, so we're going to continue to watch that. Um, I, I don't think there's really a big severe weather threat with these. Uh, the hail threat that I talked about earlier this morning, I don't see much of that really occurring unless some of these storms start to strengthen. But as we get into, obviously, tomorrow morning, convection dies down, mellows out. Not a whole lot going on. There are probably still going to be some showers out there. But we get into tomorrow afternoon, evening, and even though the NAM, the latest NAM really isn't showing it, I think the storms will be a little more widespread. Widespread as in there'll be more storms and showers. So we're going to watch that, see how that develops, and it could be really anywhere in the state. And uh, there could be some isolated, strong, or severe storms. Just got to watch it. The ingredients really isn't there for any widespread severe weather threat, but there will be some storms tomorrow. Um, here comes the rain totals, courtesy of the Euro. This is through about the end of the day next Tuesday. So a healthy amount of rain, no flooding, nothing crazy, but at half inch to an inch in some spots, depending on where the heaviest rain falls under storms. Honestly, I think the biggest story is probably the heat returning, um, which which may be a shock to people, but for people who live in South Carolina in June, no, it's not surprising. This is tomorrow afternoon, probably maybe going to touch 90 again. Um, definitely going to soar through the 80s to close to 90 for a lot of areas Saturday. The, humid, the humidity returns. It's not crazy humid, but it's definitely starting to build. Saturday, uh, we're 90s in a lot of spots. It might be hotter than what this shows. Um, getting into Sunday, Father's Day is going to be a scorcher. Uh, it'll be a little above average temperatures in the low to possibly mid 90s. I think there'll be some areas that crack 95 Sunday, definitely. Um, and it does nothing but warms up even more as we get early into next week, mid to possibly upper 90s. Some models are showing. Uh, and there it is, the hottest part in the state, and what I believe is the hottest place in the southeast, Columbia, South Carolina, hottest place in the state, 94, 95 degrees. So we're going to watch that Tuesday, even hotter across the area. I think areas are going to hit 97, 98 degrees here in the Columbia area, but 90s across the entire state except extreme coastal areas where you get the sea breeze. Check it out. I'm just going to put the Columbia graphic here for the GFS for the 10-day uh, forecast. Well, this is past 10 days, but anyways, you show it. Summer comes in and stays and just entrenches with a vengeance. Good thing is, is we keep rain chances. So it's going to be hot as hell, but there's not going to be just dry air. We're going to have some storm chances out there, but we'll talk more about that as it comes. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Not a whole lot going on, but summer returns. Have an awesome evening.